Hey everybody, okay, so today I'm back with another pregnancy vlog, and this is basically going to talk about my 23-week checkup. So apparently, I've given myself another week, and I've been running around saying I'm 24 weeks when I'm only 23. Um, so in my past videos, I've been a week ahead of what I thought I was. I'm trying, I guess I'm, subconsciously I'm saying <laughs> I'm going to hurry up and have this baby. But no, I'm 23 weeks officially today, so um, yay me. I had my appointment yesterday, and... um. It was just the, the doctor just went over the ultrasound results with me and the blood result for my uh, for Down syndrome. So my baby tested negative for that. He's the brain development. He's uh, right on cue. Everything as far as like what they saw on the ultrasound. So he's per essentially normal, normal pregnancy. So which is a blessing for me. Um, I couldn't imagine having a sick child. I, I just couldn't. And I feel for the women that do or men who do have to deal with a child with an ailment or a disability. Um, you know, it's just the way God intended us to be. And you never know what that particular person, that particular child, how it impacts people around them. So let me get off my soap dish. Okay, so <laughs> continuing on with the pregnancy. Um, so uh, within the appointment, we talked about tubligation, getting epidural, and uh, IUDs. So as you guys know, um, I had an IUD, the Mirena IUD, but I had it removed. It wasn't for me. I mean, when I got it inserted, Number one thing was the strings were cut really small, but my partner, well, my husband, my partner, he, whenever we had sex, it, he could, um, feel the, uh, the thread and because it's being pushed up in your, uh, cervix, all that vaginal secretion, it kind of hardens it a little bit and you don't want to flush it out because you're not supposed to do that because you're flushing out bacteria that's supposed to be good for your body. That's so you can get infections. So I ended in, in addition to that. That was just a minor factor. Um, I bled for like 30 days. I had it in for three months. Well, no, I had it in for one month, but I bled every day. And I'm like, well, look, yeah, it's a birth control because I can't have no sex. I can't get me none. <laughs> Hello? Okay, so I ended up getting it removed within a month. And I don't recommend getting an IUD. Just leave that alone. My sister-in-law has it. She says she loves it. She's had it for the past two years. I'm not interested in having it done. Um... It was two years ago when I got it because Eli, Eli's two now. Um, Eli's two now. So, yeah, we're in IUD. No, we're not getting any more IUDs. I'm on a obligation. This is my fourth baby. It's my fourth boy. I don't have any girls. I don't anticipate I don't have any more children. I'm 26 years old. I think I'm pretty much done. Um, that's just a personal decision for me because I haven't had time to live my life. Your 20s are when you're supposed to go out and have fun and live and travel. And that's not the case for me because I have four kids. So by the time they get to an age where I want to go back and do all the things I need to do, because once they leave the house, what am I going to do? Look at my husband all day? I need to have some type of something to keep me busy. So when they get to a certain age where they don't need me as much, I'll go ahead and finish pursuing that. But four is my limit. I'm done. That's it. So yeah, <laughs> so um, we talk about we talked about the tubligation process, and because I've always had natural childbirth, so I've never had um, a C-section. He explained to me how it would get done, and he would say he would cut a little incision under your belly button, pull out the um, the fallopian tubes because after you just had the baby, your uterus is down low and your stomach is up high, so it's they they have easy access to <laughs> to get in to get into the fallopian tubes. Um, so how he explained it to me, it's so funny because my doctor's Asian, so that accent, he goes, we tie it, we cut it, and we burn it. We do all three to make sure that it never happens again. <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest thing to me because he was like, we tie it, we burn it, and we cut it. I'm like, yes, Dr. Pilato, get us together, okay? Because I'm not, don't let me uh, have no miracle, baby, <laughs> okay? But no, um, so yeah, we're going to get the tube ligation, and I asked him, well, I'll probably get a local anesthetic because I don't anticipate. Um, well, that's where the epidural came in, too. So after I, we talked about the tubligation and how it works, um, I'll probably get it done the next day after giving birth. Just just because, I don't know, I'll probably be too tired to even be. Well, I don't even know how I might feel. I may get it done the same day. I may not. Um, but I'm getting it done. But he asked, uh, I asked, would it be painful, the little incision? And he was like. Well, aren't you getting an epidural? I'm like, no. 
Y'all don't miss this on the epidural. I didn't have one with the last one. I had epidurals with Eli, I mean, with Amir and Isaiah, and they were all elective because I chose to. And then Eli, I had it. He came so fast, I didn't have time to get the epidural. But the process delivering him naturally wasn't that bad. Um, I remember with the epidural, I couldn't feel anything. And um, the side effect of it, if you get up too fast, you get this horrible migraine. And any time you take, take any type of medication or um, pain reliever or something like that, it has an adverse effect, regardless of what it is. I don't care if you take an antibiotic. Some, some type of medicine that you take is going to affect you. Um, and I don't like how the epidural did me. So this time around, I'm going to most likely not get an epidural. So I asked them, what type of, what would you just give me a local anesthetic? He said, yeah, we'll probably just local, um, get a local anesthesia right in, in your area, in the stomach, stomach area. And just pr do the procedure. It doesn't take that long. And I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, yeah. I have a high tolerance for pain anyway. And the healing process, I don't, he said it would, it shouldn't be that bad because you're already be cramping anyway from, um, from your uterus contracting back to your pre-pregnancy state. And with me breastfeeding full time, it's going to be even like worse because the more you breastfeed with each baby, the more, the, the worse it hurts, the cramps hurt, the more severe they are. And you can take Tylenol or like something over the counter pain reliever. And I'll probably just take a Tylenol or a Motrin. I, I would not recommend taking any type of narcotic opiates, meaning Tylenol 3s, uh, codeines, um, any type of those narcotics that keep in the back shelf in the safe. No, don't take that. That's just a bad idea. As it goes to your baby, and your, ba your baby can test positive for opiates. And that's what happened with me with the mirror. But that's, that's another video. I actually have that video up and I'll post it below. But, um, so no epidural for me. Duplication, getting that done with local anesthetic. And IUD, I've been there, done that, and not don't anticipate on doing that again. And I wouldn't even recommend it. If you're going to be on birth control, just take the pills. That's just my idea. But I'm me, and if that's my opinion. Um, so, yeah, the pregnancy. Oh, yeah. Let me not get into my facility because they took forever day to get there to see me. And I'm like, if I'm here on time, you need to see me on time, within a timely manner. Because if I don't pay my money on time, I don't get to, I don't get seen, do I? See, people kill me. I'm like, come on now. Y'all need to get it together. I don't have time. To be sitting here waiting on you. And my baby goes to my doctor's appointments with me because all my family is in Long Beach or Atlanta. So I have, my facility is here where I live. So it's just a big old mess. So after, if I'm there an hour, I only prepared enough snacks for him for a certain amount of time. So when he wants to get down and run around, he's um, crying and getting agitated because he's restless. He's a toddler. He wants to get up and run around. I can't let him run around a hospital. That's just nasty and that's dangerous. He can get hurt. But um, I digress. So, yeah, that's my pregnancy vlog. Um, everything's all good on the Western front. <laughs> um, he's very healthy, very big, very active. Oh, my God. I feel like there's a little midget just jumping on my uterus, jumping on my water, uh, jumping on my bladder. I have to pee every five minutes. It's not even a game. And I'm only 22 weeks. I could swallow further along. But, yeah. Um. That's basically it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and bye.